Hello there, KB Core users. This is Annalisa, and I want to speak to making the most out of your KB Core custom pages and blogs. So, in this circumstance, we're going to speak to how you can actually create unique uh, pages within the custom pages and blogs to create custom links for specialized content. And then in turn, you can leverage these particular links in your social media posts, lead gen landing pages, smart campaigns, scheduled mass emails, mass email, mass texts, or to individual contacts. So there's a lot of things you can do with a little bit of effort by building in a custom page and a blog because they don't need to be exclusively for each type of thing of a custom page or a blog. You can actually use both pieces of content in each function and it'll get to different users. So the top down view today is in the scenario that we're working on. I have an agent who is looking to have custom content for services and trusted partners, of which he wants to add to his domain. So on a custom page, and I'm going to walk you through how to add these elements and then locate the unique links for use in business later amongst all of these different ways of communicating the link out. Now, what was shared with me from the agent was, hey, I want to add a new page for some special services for buyers such as special financing options. So in this example, I'm going to speak to down payment assistance grants because I think a lot of us need to really make sure we're pushing that information out there to those renters or people who just don't really have an idea that they could qualify, the most poor to middle income folks. So help, you know, help them get, get some money for a down payment and get them into a house and uh, everyone's happy, right? So I am adding in the tools used within each section. So we're going to cover where to find the custom pages. I've linked in the singular tutorial of which we'll walk you through the custom pages. I'm going to go through it in the video, but it's also on this doc. There's a couple of examples of different custom pages other users have created like uh, by county. So you can add in community pages for different maps and offices and truck rental if you're going to help people move. Uh, you can also you know, create a different type of blog for maybe school districts. So really the sky is the limit on creating blogs and resource tabs, these little custom pages in, uh, that are in your hands. So let's go ahead and uh, speak to info that you need to gather. So info to gather, it's real important that you really map out what your goal is with this information of which you're going to share. So in this case, uh, the agent wanted finance topics. So I just included a few that might help you, but it's not a, a anywhere near a complete list. These are just some ideas that could get your creative juices flowing. So some popular blogs and custom pages I used to utilize uh, were just commonly used things that I could just grab the link. It had my name, my branding, and I can send it out to people and will always bring them back to me. And that was, you know, information about a tool 3K. Maybe that's handy to send out when folks are looking at fixers. Uh, just general information on FHA, USDA, VA housing. Uh, maybe if you, you're doing, you know, first time home buyer programs, down payment assistance grants, maybe even an interview series with your lender with commonly asked questions. And then I added in some other ideas for uh, blogs or pages, which be like new listings, new listings not on the MLS, community news, school district guides, moving in guides, local uh, restaurant or business highlights, local community events and popular neighborhoods. So these are all things you can work at incorporating into the blog and the custom pages. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of creating the custom page. So in this case, I've already written the blog that speaks to the free down payment money. And you'll be able to see that example when you actually click on this link here and open it up. So this is the blog of which I created. 70% of low and middle income US adults are missing out on free down payment money. And this is actually from a survey by Neighborhood Works Housing in 2014. So this is pretty recent statistics. So we need to make sure that this 70% of these US adults are aware of this opportunity. So I wrote this blog about it. And if you look up here, up in the URL, up in the browser, I have a very unique link for this blog. So as a user of KD Core, I could go in, copy this link, 
I could go to bit.ly, shorten it up if I wanted to. And then I could drop it into a text. I could drop it into a template campaign. Uh, I could send it out in a mass email, mass text, what have you. But I have different ways of sending out blog information. And another thing to note is when you do blog, the blog content is actually going to land on all of the HTML emails of which KD Course sends. So this is going to be peppered amongst your listing alerts. It's going to be going out on your website. And it's going to be going out to whoever you physically send it to or if you use it in an advertising situation. So you can leverage this in many, many different ways. So let's speak to getting that custom page set. All right, let's dive into creating that custom page. So what I did is I took the blog and I reworded it just a little bit. So it reads a little different than the blog, than what it'll read on the custom page. So my title is going to be dollar sign free down payment money. And then did you know, you know, et cetera. So now we're going to build this custom page on KD Core. And it's really, really easy to do. Scroll down this left-hand side of your dash and click on web and IDX. And there's really two ways to get to this tool. You can either click on site content here at the top or just to the right of your photo, it'll say custom pages and click view edit. And you'll see right now I have 13 custom pages created on my own dashboard. So I'm going to click view edit. Now, as you look at the custom pages on this, you're going to see all of the custom pages of which you have created. And you can also tell which ones are published because the toggle will be to the left. Now within these, you can also toggle them to the right to turn them blue if you want them to be published on the front side of your site. Now, where do these land on your website? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my domain by clicking on my email top right and then my domain information. So this website's all about me 24 seven, 365, just like it will be for you. And my resource tabs land on this resources section here for our resources, or I can just hover over, we're looking for movers and shakers, and you can rename these tabs as well. So all of the pages of which I've created and have online land on this list. So I have in like, you know, local school district guide, popular area restaurants, moving out, moving in truck rentals, moving boxes, et cetera. So you can build in all of this content to speak to different needs in your community and to your contacts. Now, when we're building the page, we're going to click new page here on the top right. And basically give it a title, drop in our content and fill out these boxes. So we're going to walk through this. So the first thing we're going to do is drop our title in. So I'm just going to come over here and copy it. And I've always found this easier for me uh, to kind of flesh it out before I get to this point. Uh, that way, it's all kind of in my head, finalized, and I know what I want it to look like instead of going on the fly. But if you go on the fly, awesome. It's just not a skill uh, I have for these types of uh, custom page type thing. So next, I am going to grab the body of the custom page and copy it. And pop it right in there. Now, if this is something where you want to add a uh, different type of font, different size, color, uh, and, and things of that nature, you can actually do the font and the size here. And we're getting ready to launch a new uh, editing tool soon. We'll have a lot more goodies here. But right now, what we can do is say, well, maybe we want to make this a little bigger. So we can make it bold and we can change the font to whatever we'd like to be within this drop down, and maybe we want to make it 18 point. So at this point, you know, you can go in and make other uh, different changes to your font type and size. You can add in bullets if you need to. If you want to drop in HTML, like a photo or a video, you just click this little source code here at the top and drop your code in. And that'll drop a video and or a photo in. Uh, but you kind of get the gist of it. You fill out the boxes with the information you want to share and build into your website. Now, if you had external information of which you want to direct people for more info, so perhaps your lender has program information on their site, 
you know, you could be like, you know, wlenderinfo.com. And you can send people to your lender site to learn more. Or if you want to keep them on your site, of course, you just have all the information on your custom pages and segue it through you. It's up to you. It's not uh, necessary to have a URL here. Now, here's where we get into a fun part, the category. So do we want a new category? Or do we want to nest it within one of these? So I'm just going to choose a new category. And we're going to call this down payment assistance or free money. So free money for you. That's what we're just going to call this because it also goes with the free down payment money here for the title of the custom page. Now, you'll notice that the system automatically created a slug that's going to help you on Google. And also, we can drop in a meta tag description. So this is like a two sentence overview of the page, along with the keywords and RSS property fee. These are all optional. If they're not something that's hitting your radar, no big deal. However, you can beef it up a little bit by adding in a couple of sentences here. So this could be like apply for free down payment money or help. So this could be one or two sentences, whatever you'd like to drop in. And for meta tag keywords, you could put in like, you know, down payment assistance. And that might be a workable for you. Uh, now, within this, you're going to have this add to child size option. And if you are an admin within the brokerage or a team lead and you want this to bump down uh, under your umbrella, you would say, yes, add to child site. Uh, in this case, I'm creating this custom page for my site as an agent and not an admin. Well, maybe I don't want to add it to child sites. I only wanted to add it to my site. And then when I click save, we'll be able to take a look at the whole list of custom pages we have up and we can see mine is published here. Free money for you, free down payment money. And what I can do now is go back to my resource tab and I'm gonna refresh it here because it sometimes takes a moment or two for that blog to refresh onto the system, but we'll take a look here. So now you can see it's landed here on my custom pages, free down payment money. And what I can do is actually grab this link up here. And now this is something I can take and drop into my smart campaigns. I can drop these into a landing page, a lead gen. You know, curious about earning some down payment money for free? You know, put in your email and or phone and get the information today. So you can take all of this information, whether it is a blog post, a custom page, and really leverage the heck out of it, uh, including <laughs> on print ads. So. I guess one last thing I could say is when you have these links like this, you can copy it and you could go to your lead engine. You can click into call capture and you can create a custom text code. Basically you click add new, the code could be like free money and then you can drop the link in or drop a shortened link in or some type of a message and then choose the smart number of which you want to be connected to. And when we add this, basically we've just created a call to action where we're saying, hey lead, if you text free money to my smart number, I'm going to connect you with information on how to get free down payment assistance money. So uh, if you have any questions anytime, please feel welcome to contact support bottom right hand side of your dashboard to learn more about the different elements of the website and how to edit your website, you can click into the learning portal here at the bottom left. And I put up a course not long ago, all about editing your website settings in KD Core. Five lessons are included thus far. And when you click into this, it's going to teach you how to edit the areas you cover, create a custom area we cover by zip code, leveraging your custom pages and showcasing a polygon map as a resource tab. Hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.